What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and I'm here with the Mavic 2 Pro drone. It's actually off to my side, ready to take off and I'm gonna be showing you some useful gimbal techniques and flying techniques in order for you to get the smoothest footage possible. Let's get this thing up in the air and I'll show you how it's done. So some of the questions I get asked in my past tutorials on drones is how do I get smooth tilt up and tilt down shots along with pans? One of the best ways to do that is actually to go into the DJI Go app go to the options, go down to gimbal, go to advanced settings, and adjust the gimbal pitch smoothness. So instead of having abrupt tilt downs and tilt ups, by adding the smoothness, we actually get much smoother stops at the end of each tilt. That way when you let go of the dial, you're not actually coming to a hard stop. You're slowly coming to that stop. So it's more like a dampening effect. Also, the way you control the dial is very important. I put a little bit of pressure on the dial and I use the grooves on the dial to help out with my grip. And I slowly ease into the shot. I don't start with a fast tilt. If I wanna go fast, I slowly ease into it. So for example, here I am looking directly at the house. The type of shot that I wanna achieve is to lower the drone and to actually tilt up the camera. That way it's gonna give us some of that parallax movement or parallax effect. So let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna start making the Mavic go down slowly in altitude by pressing down on the left joystick. And as I do that, I'm gonna ease in on my tilt. There we go. I actually did kind of a rough ease in. I can do a better job. So let me stop right here and go up and use that similar effect. So I'm gonna slowly go up in altitude and ease into my tilt very slowly. And there we go, we get a nice tilt there with the Mavic drone camera. Very nice, soft, subtle tilt. Now this comes down to a lot of patience and a lot of practice, so you have to keep up with it. When I was trying to master drone cinematography, I practiced for two to three hours every day with my Inspire One. So that's how I was able to get accurate and smooth shots with my drone's gimbal. So for this next shot, we're gonna move the drone to the left, and as it moves to the left, we are going to be panning at the same time to create another parallax effect. So as the drone moves sideways, the drone will also pan. We're gonna slowly ease into these shots. So slowly go into the right joystick to the left and slowly start panning, just like that. And we get a beautiful parallax shot. And this is specifically important for those real estate videos that some of you do. Let's try it in the other direction. Slowly ease in and slowly start panning. That's it. Now, some of you want to stick to automated features or automated flight modes. I don't recommend them because they're not as accurate as what you can do. I do recommend turning on your grid lines because that's definitely going to help you out. So for this type of shot, we want to aim for the house to be in the center of the shot since it is the main subject. This is real estate. This is not like a film shoot or anything like that where we use the rule of thirds and place our subjects to the left or right part of the screen. The house is big. It's the main subject of your shot, so it should remain in the center. All right, so slowly ease in to the slide and feel free to speed up the shot. Just make sure that your pan stays consistent with the drone speed when it flies side to side. And there you go. Beautiful shot of the house here. That little pan does a lot. It adds that parallax effect. And that's what a lot of us want. So the way we hold our remote controller sticks is also very important. Some of us like to pinch the sticks, but I actually like to put my thumbs on them. There are sharp grooves on the joysticks, so it's pretty easy to grip with your thumb. I feel like I can apply more pressure and get more accurate shots when using my thumb instead of using my two fingers to pinch. Also again, back to the control dial here for the pitch or the tilt of the gimbal. 
Notice how I'm gripping it. I have a firm, solid grip and I'm applying a little bit of pressure on that dial in order for me to get a smooth and consistent tilt or pitch movement. Now, if you're worried about controlling your gimbal speed, we can change that setting as well. Let's go to the master control settings, go to the gimbal settings, advanced settings, and then we can adjust the speed from here. So for the max gimbal speed, I like to keep that at about 16. That seems to be the default for the Mavic. And I do recommend that all of you guys use this setting for your drone because there may be some shots where you need it tilt up or tilt down quickly than normal. So keep it at the default setting. And if you really need slower shots, try to work hard on your technique when controlling the gimbal's pitch dial. So it's important guys to keep your moves consistent. I want you to watch this video over and over again. I'm gonna be launching a ton of new tutorials for the Mavic 2 Pro. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.